I have no idea what I've done last episode. What is going on, fools of YouTube? You got AJ Paving in another chapter of Pokemon Adventures Red. Today, uh, we're going to continue on. I think we're going to Vermilion City and something's happened there. Um, as you saw last time, I did a comment thing. You know, I responded to your comments things, which I have not recorded yet. So hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully, I'm going to go heal my Pokemon first before I ever, like, continue on. But hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed all that kind of stuff because I'm planning to do that every 10 episodes to review your comments and my reactions to them. Because like I said, your comments are basically the reason why I do these videos at this point. Your views and comments in general. Other than that, I usually don't. I also want to apologize for the lack of um, of uploads of this uh, series and of everything else. It's just because work has been got getting in the way a lot. But right now at the moment that I am recording this, I have like at least a week off from work. Because I'm going to be going to Canada on the weekend of the uh, 8th, 7th, today's 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th to Vancouver, Canada. Just because I want to, you know, just go there to the night market and stuff with my friends. Enjoy the time there that I have. So, yeah, just going to be doing that. So I have a good amount of time to right now just record and just try to edit. So hopefully I'll have enough edited and recorded that uh, we won't have breaks for a while because we did record a lot of Ruby episodes and I'm going to start recording a lot of uh, Adventure Red episodes right now. So anyways, now that we're back here and I think I've explained everything I need to explain here, I um, also want to apologize for something else. Oh yeah, for episode chapter 9 because chapter 9 got completely and utterly fucked. My darling and I slept together, eat together, bathe together and empty our bowl bowels. Bowels? What the fuck? Who does that? Does an actual couple legit do that? I've never done that. What the fuck? Who? What? <laughs> that's just weird. Oh, shoot. I feel like we're very under leveled. I think that's what I was planning to do, which was to off screen grind a bit because these guys look pretty buff right now. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and take them on, anyways. Let's go ahead and hit this Psyduck with a Thunder Pulse. Give it a bigger headache than it already has and then paralyze it so that way it can't have headaches anymore. Basically, we're just easing its pain. So that's good and all and dandy and stuff. Still don't know how to pronounce this uh, Kangaskhan's name because that episode where I asked him how to pronounce his name still is not out yet because, like I said, I am very busy and lazy in general. Oh, I admitted that I'm lazy. But you already know that. That's okay. Confuse the Cubone right there. Confuse that because, like, it doesn't know if it has parents at this point. Well, it probably doesn't already know it doesn't have parents. But still, it's confused at this point and why it's wondering why it doesn't have any parents and why it cares that it doesn't have parents. But it doesn't matter, though, because it's going to die to our team of godliness not from this quick attack though but definitely from this water pulse right here so there we go knocking out the cubone uh smashing its shell its head shell the helmet thing into pieces and yeah so there we go to be the couple ron and Saul. we lost darling are you okay i wonder what the girl actually says i'm gonna go talk to her let's see what you say i'm going to leave ron he's just way too oh <laughs> Uh, we may have lost, but Sal and I are still happily in the- <laughs> I- I fear for your future, buddy. Um, I've caught a Pokemon in this route, I believe, right? Have I? Did I? Did I? I don't remember. Okay. Hold on. Let's check what this route is real quick. This route- this is Route 5. Oh, I was supposed to off screen grind the Growlithe. This is Route 6. Where's my Growlithe? Oh well! I guess I will off screen grind in the next episode so you'll see the growl of this episode. I don't think I've caught anything on this route. I don't think I have. I can't really check. I, I'm, I fear if I, 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 I can't speak in English. The point is, found a fucking Oddish. I guess I'll catch it for now. Um, I don't want to like pause this video and check because can't. that's how my Cantasia has been fucking up as of late. So, because if I pause or like go to a different window, then for some stupid reason, Camtasia will occasionally just, like, record only the audios and not the screen. And that's really annoying. That, that honestly really annoys the crap out of me because I've never had this problem with screen flow. But I'm having this problem with stupid-ass Camtasia. So I'm probably going to re-download this Camtasia again. And then once this series is over, then I'm probably going to get a new, like, recording thing. So if you guys could comment down below what other, like, better recording, like, audio, like, video things I can get then tell me because I am a noob at Windows um, we're gonna nickname this Oddish after somebody here so we're just gonna go ahead and go to the first episode real quick you know what I have figured out a name for this one this dude he's he's one of my favorite subscribers because he makes some great comments and all 
and he's been following me for a while now as well. And he has to be a badass Pokemon. So, what more of a badass Pokemon can, can you be than an Oddish? Why, why an Oddish, you ask? It's because Oddishes has no arms, yet it's living life to the fullest. It's always happy and stuff. That is a badass right there. So we're gonna name you Hut. The G A. Okay, so we're gonna name you Hut. I, this is, I believe, this is your name. If I've forgotten, I, I hope I haven't forgotten your name. It's Hut. The. And then Java. So unfortunately, oh god, I can't. I don't have enough room. No. There we go. Hut the Java. There we go. That's gonna be you, cause you're a badass with no arms, still living life happily. There's another couple right over there, which I'm going to battle in a second, but I don't think I battled these people up here. This guy right here, so let's talk to him. Bug Pokemon are dangerous. My brother lost its soul for looking inside the empty husk of a bug Pokemon. I wonder what Pokemon it was. So he's talking about Sh 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 Ninja Bug, I don't know. Jen and I are desperate for a good fight. Why do these dudes seem like they're so happy in their relationship and then the girls just kind of seem like they're out of love with it? Why does it have to be the girls always out of love? Why can't it be the guy? Hello? Um, so it looks like there's an Eevee and Execute. We're just going to send out these same two people here. Let's go ahead and go for the, um, hmm. Who's the bigger threat here? Probably the Execute. So I'm going to go ahead, double hit this dude. And then go ahead and I'm actually going to double team here in hopes that they are going to try to attack Pikachu. Because right now Pikachu is more the frail of the two. So hopefully, let's go ahead and do that. Hit these eggs twice and uh, try to get something coming out, like yolk or things. Or I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. I tried to make something creative there that time, but unfortunately, I could not. How the hell do you hit a sleep powder when it doesn't even have a hundred percent accuracy in the beginning? And I freaking double teamed, and you still hit it. That's a bunch of crap. Uh, let's go ahead and probably wake you up because I don't. Feel, dang, I only have one full restore. Oh, I think we're almost done with the route and we're almost in uh, Vermilion City. So let's go ahead and full restore right here. I mean, full heal right here. He, uh, wake him up. Hit you two times again. You know, because we want some eggs. Man, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. The reason why I'm also recording right now, too, is right now. Um, for some reason, I'm out of internet. No idea why. I literally woke up. I've literally... This is my first day off of just working four days straight of long-ass shifts, by the way. And I slept for a total of like 14 freaking hours. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I slept 14 hours. It felt wonderful though. And it felt great waking up until I saw the sight of me having no internet. So, it's kind of pissed off, but at the same time I do have my phone, which has LTE. So I have internet on that aspect. It's just like, I can't really upload anything right now. I can't record League of Legends, which was I was planning to do later. But hopefully later today I can. Because I have absolutely nothing to do. That it's raining outside. It's it's rainy Seattle again. It's fall again. It's my favorite season. I love fall. I love the cold. Because I've already explained this before. I think in this series, being cold, fixing that problem, fixing that problem is easy. It's it's simple. You just wrap a blanket around. You. When you're hot, it's hard as fuck sometimes. Sometimes it's just way too hot, and you can't even like use a fan to cool you off. Air conditioners at this point is the best thing for you, but air conditioners cost way too much. So fuck that shit. Even though I work at an electronics store. I could buy one with a discount. Discount's still not enough. Hell no. We don't need any at the point. So we beat them. Let's go ahead and head to Vermilion City, I guess. And oh, what the? My Polyworld Purple. My John Cena and Pikachu are out. Wow, so this is Vermilion City. Oh boy. What's that sound? Whoa, that's a big ship. Let's check it out. Why am I so amused of like so little things sometimes? All right, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon first. Because um, right now we're definitely weakened right now. I wonder if Bulbasaur appears in the front too at that cutscene if you have Bulbasaur there. Oh well, I will never know at this point because Bulbasaur is dead. So your Pokemon is restored back to full health. Yep. Okay, let's let's do our favorite thing every time we go to the towns and let's talk to people. I used to just leave my Pokemon in the Poké Center and then retrieve it the next day. However, with a robber lately, I'm much too afraid to do that. All right, so that's kind of an indication of what's going to happen here. Probably going to face the robber here. Most of my friends' Pokemons were stolen. I feel like the luckiest guy on Earth since all my Pokemon are safe. Is safe. Isn't it are safe? What do you say? You just say Pika. Okay. Well, I'm feeling like the thief is Team Rocket, but um, we can't accuse them until we see it. Where is my Spearow? I can't sing without my Spearow. 
Oh yeah, by the way, the dude who seriously drew that drew me the emo spiral just posted it on my Facebook page. I can't reply to your comments because apparently your account, your I'm not allowed. No one's allowed to reply to your comments. All right, let's go ahead and uh, talk to you. Daddy doesn't let me play outside. He thinks I might get hurt. Well, there's a thief outside, you idiot. The world is way too dangerous for my little princess. <laughs> wow. All right, she's gonna. Uh, I won't explain it. Second, my husband is way too paranoid. I wish he'd just calm down a bit. I've known a kid who like um, who went to my elementary school, and he was basically never really let allowed to do anything, go outside or talk to people, even play video games. Now he plays video games all day, every day. Reason being is because he was, you know, not exposed to it till later. He's like he didn't have anything, and then he got something by himself by sneaking with his friends and stuff. And now he just plays video games all day, and his life is ruined. So that's his parents' fault. That's why parents. You don't. You let you expose your kids to the things, so that way they know what it is. I lost my pa Pokemon. Where is my weak, defenseless, and fragile gold? What the? What? <laughs> Do you want to go somewhere? Oh yeah, right, right. You, you, you use that stuff. All right, let's talk to you, fisherman. Do you know the current champion of Kanto is the mother whose son went into a deep coma? I didn't know that. I think they did tell me, and I didn't know. They talk to me, fool. Oh wait, am I the dude in the coma? That ash theory might be true, and it might be me. Oh well. I'm not giving you a fishing rod. Why? Give it to me, baby! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Alrighty, so let's continue on here. Um, before I go to the ship, let's go to this house right here, because it's closest. And there's only one little girl in here. Um, I might get accused of being a thief here. I sometimes see my dad dressing up in Team Rocket clothing. He starts crying and saying he's only doing it for me. I don't understand what is happening. Oh boy. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna feel the feels possibly. Alright, let's go to- well, Why is he so shady? Am I like in a, some mafia place? Let's talk to you first. Pokemon, gotta catch him all! Gotta catch him all! Pokemon! Pokemon, gotta catch him all! Pokemon, um, Pokemon got to go. Oh, Jesus, I feel like hi. I'm great. <laughs> you're the only one that's not brain rust, Greg. Thank God. Praise the Lord. I feel like you're a thief. Let's talk to you. I really miss my Abra. You liar. You are the thief. You are the mastermind. You brainstormed. I mean, you uh, brainwashed these guys to get all the steal all the Pokemon. And Greg is just Greg. Anyways, let's go out. Uh, what the heck are these? Can I click on these? No, I can't. Okay, well, that's weird. So there's the ship right there. Not exactly going to go there yet. We're going to go there soon. Um, we are going to go to the mart and buy a few things. And, of course, talk to people as well. Let's go ahead and buy, I think, more Pokeballs. Yeah, because that's probably the only thing I can buy. So let's go ahead and buy eight of them. Let's have a total of 15. Looks like I can't buy any full heals, which kind of sucks. Potions, we'll go buy two more because why not? Um, antidotes, we might actually need them soon, so we're gonna buy three. We have a lot of money at this point, which I'm assuming is for the revives, but obviously this is a Nuzlocke, so we can't do that. So we're just gonna buy seven of these Paralyzed Heals, and then, uh, let's go ahead and talk to these guys. Some Pokemon appear at certain days. They're usually shiny. Ooh, shiny. I'm buying ingredients for the meal I'm making. Okay, well, he didn't say anything too interesting. Alrighty, so it looks like at this point, I could go up here and catch a new buddy again. So let's go ahead and do that and let's name it after one of you guys, possibly. Um, does John Cena have hypnosis yet? I don't really remember. Yeah, he does. Okay, he's, I think he's always had it and I just don't remember because like I said, I haven't played this game for like probably a month or three weeks. Or so. Oh, it's not going to the gym. No. Let's catch a po- what does this say? Some words are scratched off. That's weird. So let's try to catch a Pokemon here. Any day now, Pokemon. Gotta catch him. It's you. Oh. I didn't mean to! No one has visited this place for 10 years. Why did I go in here? I didn't mean to! Let's get out of here. Alright, that's spoilers there. I apologize. I'm not gonna go there. Oh, there we go. Now we run into Pokemon. I thought for a second there, this grass, you can't catch anything. It looks like it's a Magnemite. Not too bad, I guess. Should I Ice Beam it? No, it's definitely gonna die. What I am going to do is rock to it though, so I'm going to go out to the Squirrel or whatever the fuck this dude's name is at this point. I still don't really know. Get tackled upon. That's A-OK -okay, because my name is AJ Pay. Going to go ahead and go for that rock tomb though because it's not going to really hurt him too much hopefully. 
because it's the... Alrighty, well, it looks like we can't catch anything and name someone after Magnemite. Perfect, I'm an idiot. Yeah! So, okay, well, that actually really sucks. So I guess I'm gonna lead off with Pikachu now because Pikachu does need some more leveling. Um, let's go ahead and head towards that ship, I guess. So we're gonna go down here, talk to you a bit. People from the Johto region come here during the holidays. Well, fuck them. God damn it, you assholes. Stop populating my, my area. What do you have to say about yourselves? How do you sneak past us? Whatever. You're out of here. Ah! Oh! <laughs> well, um... I snuck past you by walking over this bridge over here, and this dude doesn't give a crap. Alright, well, um... What do you have to say? Sorry, you'll need an orange ticket to pass. Okay, well, that's through the Orange Islands, which I don't really want to go to, so that's fine. Let's go into the ship! The SSN. So we are now on the SSN. I guess we have the freedom to leave whenever we want to, so that's cool and all. Found TM41, which is Torment. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. Let's go ahead and keep on running. Oh, clipboard. You found a love letter. Oh! Oh! Right! So I have this Moonstone here. Can I use it to evolve? Nope. Okay, that answers my question. I thought I could evolve BMAC with it, but I guess I can't. Um, let's see. Can we possibly... Dear Greg, I really like... <gasps> What are we handing this to Greg? Wait, but what then Greg might think that we're handing the letter to him and we'll like him. I want to see what happens though. I'm really in take that risk just to see what happens. So we're going to run the Greg to see. Okay, that's some really bad. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Greg because we know he's in the Pokemon fan club. And he's the only one not brainwashed. So let's see what happens. What? There's a level up for me? Can I see it? I found it in the SSN. In room 6. I didn't find it in the room 6! I just found it in the SSN! Room 6? That's Sailor Ted's room. I heard he was sharing the room with another person around my age. JP, please help me ask Sailor Ted who is the writer of this letter. Sailor Ted lives in Lavender Town. Alright, so we got a future mission, I guess. So we have to go to Lavender Town to figure out this love letter, what it's all about. Was this love letter from Ted towards Greg? Does Ted love Greg? Does Greg love Ted? Or was it rated to somebody else and is Greg actually straight? Find out next time on this episode on the next episodes of Pokemon Adventure Red. Just kidding. We are not gonna end it yet. Um, we have about like two and a half minutes left of this, so. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's up here. You little run, how'd you get in here? Fuck me! <laughs> Alright, note to self, don't talk to any of the fucking sailors. They'll just kick you out immediately. Alright, let's go like they can't let's go in here. No. This room is locked. <laughs> Let's take a peek. Oh, I'm a I'm a dot naughty little boy. Says <laughs> ah! I heard I heard a scream. Uh oh. A sword after him. Run me, run, stay out. Ouch! Oh, what the shit? Where did he come from? Your balls. What? My balls? Oh no, he's the gay man. On your waist. Oh, wait, it actually is on my waist. Are they by any chance Pokeballs? Yeah, they are, but good for you. It's good to see a boy as young as yourself training Pokemon. I can see that you aren't just any lad. Now let's see what's inside those Pokeballs. Whoa, let me look, let me look. I'm being raped! Ah, no, don't touch the A! Hey! Amazing, simply amazing. You, my boy, are now an honorary member of the official Pokemon fan club. Pokemon fan club? Okay, so I got Pokemon Rape Fan Club, so I got raped. So being raped, if you get raped by the main leader of the Pokemon Fan Club, you join his fan club. Well, fuck me! God damn it! Yes, I'll tell you more about it at the club. See ya. Alright, so it looks like uh, we're gonna have to go to the club, I guess. But we're gonna do that on the next episode. I think it's gonna be a good time to leave it off here, even though it's not necessarily 20 minutes. So next time, we're going to go to the Pokemon Fan Club, and before any of that happens, I am also going to off-screen grind and add this uh, Growlithe, which I named Suede. I think I named that as a subscriber to, on our team, and I think I'm also going to add Hut the Java as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter as well. All links will be down in the description below. And also, the comment question of the day it's going to be a similar question that we're going to ask later in Ruby, which is going to be, um, what Pokemon, what is your favorite Pokemon? And where would that Pokemon be on the map of the world? So, for example, let's say, um, Charizard 
is my favorite Pokemon, and you'd probably see them at Mount Helen. Or you could say, like, um, Pikachu, and you find them at, a, like, a local power plant somewhere. I don't know. Something like that. I think you guys get it. I'll see you guys on the next one. There's one hope. Only one hope left. No, Pikachu!